Rewind Scotland 2016 and one of the highlights for day two has been the British Electric Foundation which is like a big super group that I didn't actually know had been going for decades and Mary Wilson was one of the stars, one of the big names that was involved in it. Everybody on there during your set looked like they enjoyed themselves. What was it like for you? Oh, it was great. The problem is when you just go on and do two songs, you're kind of like, oh no, I want to stay for an hour. You know, two songs is just really not enough, you know. Um, but I, I loved it, I loved it. I, I haven't done anything like this for quite a long time, really. And uh, well, When was the last time? I did do a festival in Scotland a few years ago, but I, I can't remember what it was called. It, it might have even been one of the first Rewind ones. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But um, generally, not really since the 80s have I done festivals, you know? Because I you... kind of went in a different direction for a long time. And how did you find dad. it in terms of picking it up again? Well, fine, because I've been, the last few years, I've kind of gone back to where I started. Um, I've got a new album out at the moment called Pop Deluxe, which is all the songs of Scylla and Dusty and Petula and um, uh, Jackie and Sandy Shaw, um, all, the, all the girls that I grew up being influenced by, you know. So, that, so that's brought me back because I, I played Dusty Springfield in a musical a few years ago. So that's what's. So now that I'm kind of back doing soul pop kind of stuff, it's this is all kind of coming my way again, which is really interesting. And I didn't know about the BEF either, and it was great. I mean, Martin Ware is such a lovely guy. Great band. It was great. Tell me about when you were uh, playing Dusty Springfield in that musical. Tell me about your reaction when the call came that you'd been invited to do it. How did you uh, feel? Well, I wasn't invited. I went and auditioned. I heard about it, and I thought. That is mine, that's mine. And uh, I went and auditioned, and they called me an hour later and offered it to me, which well, was pretty take amazing. Them long then, yeah. <laughs> um, it was a bit daunting because she was so iconic. And the first thing I said to the producer was, you know, I, I can't, I'm not going to impersonate her, mm -hmm. but I will sing the songs, hopefully, with as much passion and honesty um, and emotion as she did. So, because a lot of people afterwards said, oh, you sound just like her. But I, I don't really think I do. I just think it's the magic of theatre, you know. But great songs, you know. So some of them have ended up on this album. Well, that is a great a challenge, I'd imagine, performing something like that. Let's sort of flash back to modern day culture and the audition process of a reality show, for example. Imagine if you were on stage auditioning for X Factor a cappella, for example, how would you tackle it? How would you feel standing in front of four judges if, you know, this was something you were oh, well, starting again? I wouldn't again? do it, to be honest. No? I'm not a fan of those shows. But if you had to, how would you feel as a, as a cultured vocalist having that challenge of... Because I think it looks like it's quite hard. I think it is quite hard. And I've seen people on The Voice who I know auditioning and, and no one turned around. Mm -hmm. And they are proper, proper singers. So that's really interesting. What does that say, it? you know? Subjective. But it's also personality. You have to have personality in your voice. It has to be distinctive. When you hear Amy Winehouse, that first note, you know it's her. Dusty Springfield, Elvis Presley, Paul McCartney. No one sounds like them. So that's what you need. So it's not about being the best technical singer. It's about not sounding like anyone else. What's next for Annie Wilson? I'm touring with this album. I've got more festivals with uh, the BEF and I'm also going on tour with them. They've got a tour in October as their guest singer. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really enjoying playing this album. I'm, I'm working till the end of the year so far with a few dotted around next year. And I, I just, I, I've always played live, it's my thing, you know. Well, I'd imagine the BEF thing will be something you'll be really looking forward to. I think they've been the big surprise this weekend I think, and nobody knew quite what was going to happen and they went on and I think they, they, they got everybody re-energised for the second half of the oh, day. It was, I thought it was fantastic. It Martin was, led it well, it, it, oh, right kind yeah. of tunes. Must yeah. have been great fun to be part of. It, it was and it, and it ended on a slightly sad note because of what happened to Black earlier this year. Um, but what a lovely thing to do, to sing that song, you know, in his memory. But. I mean, it was just great. It was like, I think it was a really unusual choice of singers. We were, we're all different, you know. Mm -hmm. It was great. I can't wait to, for the next one, actually. Yeah, it should be the British Eclectic Foundation, I think. But <laughs> thank you very much for talking to us, thank Mary you. Wilson. It's my Wish pleasure. you all the best. Thank it's really you. nice to catch up. Yeah. Mary Wilson. <laughs>